Welcome to Extra Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And this is the Extra Channel, where we review extra things. Like this. Range Rover Sport. Yep. Closer than it's ever been to the full-size Range Rover, but still, big changes have happened. Indeed. This is the Dynamic SE. Yep. Uh, there is a V8, but we have it today in the P400. Which is an inline six. Yes. 40, mild hybrid. 48 volt mild hybrid, yes. Nice. Uh, an engine we've come to love. It's a good, it's a good power. Uh, really it's good. murdered out. This, I look way too, I'm not cool enough for this car driving it here. You're not, no. it's true. Uh, this is in Santorini black, and it's got black badging, black, you know, black wheels. So this is based off of the new Range Rover. Same platform, yeah, but it's shorter as a whole. This is the extra throttle house of cars. <laughs> why? Why? Because the videos and the car is just a bit shorter. A bit shorter. And less production value money. <laughs> okay. This costs less. This still will cost you $130,000 Canadian out spec. That's but a lot of money. That's what, 40 grand, 30 grand cheaper than the big size Range Rover? Yeah, that's and, true. And unless you need seven people, I'm going to spend today arguing that this is all you need. Does anybody need seven people? That was you have to give birth to a lot of people. That's a lot. Yeah, but people people want the big Range Rovers. I will say that, that so they've done a few design changes. All right, it doesn't look that different on the front. The biggest change is a lot of it's minimalism. Yeah. They've smoothed out the edges. Yeah. So like on the side, what was always recognizably the Range Rover sports symbol here has kind of become like a an avatar of itself. That kind of like you know. Like, like, this reminds me of something from a different car, and I don't know what it is. Probably from the Range Rover Sport beforehand. <laughs> Freeze frame, Thomas here. I'm editing the video so I can do that and I get to tell you that I'm not crazy and that design is actually similar to the one on the original BRZ, which is a car that James actually owned. So, haha. <laughs> and then, <laughs> no, no, it looks like something else. Anyway. Uh, and then and the rear as well, they've gone very simple. There. I did, I look at it, it was, it's very, very simple. Yeah. It's yeah. nice though. It is very nice, but it doesn't, it doesn't have the majesty. I mean, if you remember the first full-size Range Rover we did yeah. was gold, first of all. Yes. And then it had the big bars here. Yeah. This is still more toned down, but I don't think it counts as a baby Range Rover. No. Uh, well, it's the sport. It's spin tuned to be sportier, right? Has it? Has it? I it's don't know. still only 395 horsepower, but they have made some changes that make it feel a bit more agile. Um, okay. Can we drive it? We can drive it. You've, drive I've been it. living with it. Yep. You can drive it. Um, big thank you, by the way, to Jaguar Land Rover Metro West uh, yes. for lending us this car. The same people that lent us the black full-size Range Rover that we raced against the G-Wagon and the Escalade V. And it did lose, but not in our hearts. <laughs> uh, but Thanks, guys. Yeah, great, they're all car enthusiasts. Thank you very much. Let's do it. All right, here we go. In the sport. First things first, these seats are so good. They're wonderful, aren't they? Why are they so good? I don't know. They don't look particularly special. No. But they just... Something about the under-thigh support. Yeah, it's the underneath just... stuff. The, yeah. ba the back is fine. The yeah. run-of-the-mill back. But, the, but they're just... But the bum. Really, really, really nice. Yeah. And well, I, I drove here this morning, and it did the Range Rover thing. It cocooned me. Right. It was isolated on the highway. Yep. It was comfortable. The heated seats and steering wheel took like six minutes to heat up. That is not acceptable. Yeah, and I've been dailying a Mazda CX-50 recently that's been doing it in like 45 seconds. And right. this has the mild hybrid. So what's that for? If to not make the... Anyway, the rear, <laughs> the rear seats are wonderful as well. Yeah. Harrison is six foot six. Yeah. He sits comfortably in the back, headroom, legroom. They're heated and cooled. Dynamic mode. We as one launch control. No, it doesn't have any. It doesn't have it, no. Oh, it kind of does. Yeah. There it is. That's 0 to 60 in like 5.7 Certainly seconds. felt like it. Yeah, so not, it's like a second and a half slower it's than, not slow. than the 4.4 liter V8. But this is the P400. So oh, this is, you know, we smooth. love it. It's smooth. Yeah. It's got a bit of piped in noise. Plenty, like of, that. plenty of torque. Listen, but, I, I've noticed a couple things right off the bat. The, the There's some vibrations over cracks in the road yeah. that could not be there and I would be okay with that, you know? Yes, there's some things this does very well, but it does, like the full-size Range Rover, it does get unsettled over uneven surfaces. It's just a bit annoying. I mean, like, it's it's still good for the most part, but you described it to me the other day. You said you were going around a corner in the city and, like, it started to get so unsettled over, like, whatever the bumps and rail tracks were, you didn't turn. Yes, I turned the wheel, <laughs> and the car didn't turn. So... And I pooped it to pants. And you pooped it to pants. Yeah, this is more hunkered down. It's, I feel like it deals with it a little bit better, because right. it maybe has less mass to move, but really it's... But here we are on a smooth road coming into a smooth corner, smooth yeah. being the word, and... 
Yeah. Ooh, you know what? That's quite good, actually. It's wonderful. They've, they've, the steering, I feel like it's more weighted. There's definitely more yeah. weight in the steering than the normal Probably one, Probably yes. because of the extra spoke. It's a two-spoke and then Ah, uh, that's size. the reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. But, but the, you know, it does feel a bit more controlled. It's not an M car. You hear the word sport. This is not AMG level. No. You know, agility. No, it's just sportier. Yes, yes. Than the normal Range Rover, which is not sporty at all. <laughs> no, this is luxury first, and you can yes. feel that in the in the transmission. Even if you're in dynamic, it's smooth. And th I mean, they they have the Ingenium engine line, right? I'm sorry, the, the one. Ingenium. It's the Land Rover. It's the modular. Can you just make up words. Ingenium. I, I, trademarked. It's uh, <laughs> it's their it's their group of engines that yes. are modular, so right. they can be longitudinal, they can be transverse. That's so true. like the the Evoque or Evoque. Yeah, I say Evoque. Evoque. I don't know if that's right though. That's a front wheel drive based all wheel drive system. This is a. This is not all-time all-wheel drive like the main Range Rover. That's right. one of the big differences. So this is a rear-based all-wheel drive system. Right. No, you know what? This is a very in, like the way that it steers and turns and moves and brakes is all very intuitive. There's nothing about this that's standing out to me as being like it's it's well calibrated. Yeah, basically. that's I think that's the mark of quality, and that's when you yeah. spend. Uh, well, apparently they stole the engineer from the Aston Martin DBX for this for this. Oh, okay. Yeah, which explains why it gets unsettled over time. <laughs> this is one thing we thought about the That's DBX. That's one of the biggest issues we have with the Aston. Yeah. Uh, but but you, know what, you know what's interesting is that like compared to the DBX, which is absurdly expensive, we haven't yes. driven the 707 to be fair, that this drives very, very well and feels just as nice in here. Yeah, you're not robbed well, of a wonderful interior. We don't have the semi-aniline leather. Which comes with the I, first edition. I even know what that means. Semi, we've learned what semi-aniline means. It's, the, what it's means. the leather that's been mixed with some other stuff to make it last longer and, and wear better. This is the Windsor okay. leather. So I don't know what that means. In, in six months, <laughs> yeah, I don't know in six months it's just shredded. It's gone. It'll be gone. But we've got we've got some wonderful stuff. The door card here. We've got this like forged carbon yeah, that, look. That reminds me of a Huracan. Yeah, with the ultra fabrics, which is kind of like Polestar or top level Volvo stuff. Yeah, no, and, uh, nice. and I could do without the piano black, which is even though this car's got like less than three hundred kilometers on it, this is just yeah so gross. It's already a starry night of, yeah. of hair and dots. Uh, yeah, it's not perfect. No, uh, but the interior otherwise is very similar to the yeah, new range. Like and the Jags. This is a bit laggy, I noticed. Like, oh, look at that. Oh, come on. It, it's fine in car play. Once I'm like, I don't, but how often do you do that while driving? Just I like, don't know. I need to get to my screen so I no, can I, see all my off road modes. That's fair. That's fair. But right? it is curved. So, Ooh. <laughs> so what I just mean, like, it's working harder than a normal iPad. Okay, it looks it, like I can lock that center diff, which is pretty cool. There's obviously a, a gazillion off-road yeah you can still and stuff, yeah and this right? comes up and you can still do all the off-road and stuff like, realistically I, I know like i know i'm sure they do things and i'm sure it's been tested and i'm sure it's very good at it but 98 percent of people are going to drive this to and from the grocery store okay credit to the american vehicles the gmc's the cadillacs yeah their magnetized suspension even though it's not as plush really does handle bumps well and manages the car very well especially when it comes to pitch this pitch is more than an escalade right but the X7 pride, pride prouded itself. It prouded itself? It, it itself <laughs> on the ability to reduce head motion rolls. And the Americans right. are very good with that. This is very good with that. And the X7 kind of failed, even with the changes, with the active anti-roll bars. It did, yeah. This is really very good. I'm not sloshing around. No, I'm not. It's very controlled. And it's like the ride is just good enough that I don't mind. I mean, it certainly could be softer, but yeah. it is the sport. So I get it, right? But 130 grand is a tough pill to swallow. Well, it's not when you think about the fact that you get pretty much everything that you yeah. get in the Range Rover, the full size, for how apart, much apart, less? Apart from the all-wheel drive system, but you do get the, the engines, the same engines. The same engines, and it's, it drives Ten, Tens of nice, thousands less. Tens of thousands less. And it less. doesn't look as majestic. So if you don't need the big interior space, and you don't feel like you need the biggest, majesticest Range Rover, then this might be the one to get. I like it. And I, I yeah, and it's it, the price is compared to like BMWs and Mercedes, it's not far off. Right. So and being a Jaguar Land Rover product, this hasn't stopped working yet, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, although, what's that check engine light there? 